Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy, the show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors, and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In this special episode, we're going to look at the latest Luminar Neo update with the Mark 1.4.0. As always, in the first part of this video, we're going to look at the list of the updates. Then I'm going to show you how to make sure that you're using the latest version. And if you're not, how to install it. And finally, at the end, we're going to jump into the actual application and I will show you how to use and where to find all the new updates and features. Starting with the list of the updates, Skylum just released the new update Mark 1.4.0. Now Luminar artists can use the long anticipated clone tour in their editing. Extensions are also improving. The HDR merge extension now gives result with reduced chromatic aberrations. Update 1.4.0 brings plenty of minor improvements to Luminar Neo's usability, including a convenient selection preview on hover in the catalog and new look for headers in catalog, presets and edits tab. There is also a useful grid in the lens distortion slider in the optics tool. Plus, you will be able to enjoy a support for new cameras, including Olympus, Panasonic and Canon brands. Of course, there are some bugs fixed as well. And if you want to see the full list of the updates, as always, head to the Skylum website, skylum.com slash what's new slash Luminar Neo. Now, before we going to continue, I want to quickly tell you about our brand new Luminar Neo Autumn Bundle. For a special price, you will get over 721 new Autumn elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools. Find out more about it on our website cleverphotographer.com and learn more about the extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames, LUTs and presets that you can get to transform your autumn images with just a few clicks. If you want to learn more about this bundle, make sure you follow the link in the description or once again visit our website cleverphotographer.com. Now it's time to make sure that you're using the latest version of Luminar Neo. And if you don't, I will show you how to install it. So what we're going to do, first of all, if you just switch on Luminar Neo, you may be already prompt with the update message. In that case, just follow it step by step and do the update as usual. If you haven't been prompt with the message, navigate to the top left corner of your screen and click on the Luminar Neo logo. Here click on about Luminar Neo. That will open a new window and just like me, you should see the update or the version 1.4.0. If that's not the case, we need to install the new update. Close this window and then let's do it again. Again, we need to click on the Luminar Neo logo and then here click on check for update. Again, it will open a software update window and here you want to click on the install update. After that, follow the setup step by step and get back to the Luminar Neo when the update is finished. Depending on your internet connection, it may take a little while as it is usually around 4 GB big. When you're back in Luminar Neo, you can again double check that you are on the right version by going into the Luminar Neo clicking on about Luminar Neo and double checking the version of your application here. And finally, it's time to look at the new updates and features here in Luminar Neo. As you can see, I'm starting in a catalog module where I have a three files ready to be merged with the use of HDR merge extension. Now let's select them one, two and three. 
And when I drag and drop them on the extension here in our toolbar, I can now go into the settings of the extension. Inside, compared to the before, we now have the new option called Chromatic Aberration Reduction. When you turn it on, it removes purple or green fringe along the edge of your photo. So this is really handy as it can help to improve the quality of your image. Once you're done with the setting, you can click anywhere else and then just use the merge button to merge the images together. So that's the update for the HDR merge extension. Now looking at the application, you can see that our buttons on the top of the screen change the design. However, it's still the same catalog, presets and edit. So let's select this image and go into the edit module. In the edit module, we're going to start by looking at the develop or develop raw tool here in the essential section of our main toolbar. So let's click on it to open it. And here we're going to be focusing on our optics all the way at the bottom. We have optics and transform. Now, if I haven't mentioned it before, now the transform has a new option where you can auto align your image. So make sure you check that out. However, as a part of this update, we now have this new grid, which appears when you hover over the lens distortion slider. You can use it when you're adjusting the distortion manually by using the optic section of the develop tool. Once we close it, it will disappear. And now finally, let's focus on the most important part of this update, and that's the clone tool. It's located in a professional section of our main toolbar, all the way at the bottom. You simply click on it to open it and now we can start to use it. When you open the tool, you will be prompt with the message, click to set the source. To do that, simply click somewhere on this little cloud. And now I can very simply start to paint the same cloud on the image. Now, wherever I'm painting, you can see that it's basically copying and pasting the part of the cloud into our image. Now, this is very simple demonstration as we're going to have a full tutorial on how to use this tool coming on our channel very soon. Coming back to our tool, you can see that we can adjust the size, softness and strength of our brush. And also, if you want to reset the reference point of your clone tool, simply use Option or Alt on your keyboard. That will then adjust the style of your mouse and you can now move around and adjust the reference points again. So let's say I'm going to place it here. So I click and now I can start to use the brush again and paint the cloud somewhere here using the reference point of this cloud down here. The clone tool is a great addition to the Luminar Neo powerful tools and I can already imagine countless projects we're going to be using it in. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar Gift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.